Hello, everyone. I'd like to uh, say a few words about a book that is just coming out from the Baha'i Distribution Service uh, called Sparks of Fire, uh, Unknown Poetry of Tahirah. This is the fourth book that Amrullah Himat and I have done translating the poetry of Tahirah. And it's distinctive in many respects. Um, of course, the heroic life of Tahirah has long been celebrated by playwrights, historians, and Persian social reformers, especially those advocating women's rights in the present-day Iran. Though a 19th century poet of superb eloquence and variety, she is better known by most people as a woman of dauntless faith, courage, and resilience, uh, whether by Persian, uh, the Persian community in general, or by the followers of the Baha'i religion in particular, for whom she looms as one of the most remarkable figures of the Baha'i faith in the heroic age, which is from 1844 to 1921. The followers of the Baha'i faith celebrate her as one of the letters of the living, the first 18 followers of the Bab, uh, who was the herald of Baha'u'llah, the founder of the Baha'i faith, uh, and also because of her heroic uh, martyrdom. Uh, but what few uh, are understand as well is the remarkable intellect of the woman. She was a follower through the writings of uh, uh, Sheikh Ahmad Akhasi and Sayyid Kazim. Uh, and she had a dream vision in which she saw the Bab and heard repeated words that she later read in his writings and realized that he was the Qa'im, the promised one of Islam. And she became an incredible teacher once Sid Qasim passed away, uh, just a few days after she had arrived to meet with him. Uh, and she taught fervently throughout uh, Iran. This volume, together with our previous volumes, all of which uh, contain original text by Tahirah's poetry, along with the English translation, uh, is uh, um, intended to provide both English and Persian readers with access to some of her amazing uh, talents as a poet, but also her uh, depth of knowledge in the teachings of the Bab, uh, teachings that are still being uh, uh, discussed and explained that she alludes to rather remarkably in her writing. Her poems are hard. Uh, they're hard because she uses so much imagery, so much illusion and symbolism. And so we have primarily, I must say, through the incredible scholarship of Amr uh, who is a scholar in both Persian and Arabic history and language, uh, been able to provide the reader with all the footnotes, endnotes, uh, and introductory materials to particularly difficult poems so that the reader begins to understand these illusions uh, and appreciate the poems in full in a way that would not otherwise be possible. Uh, because the poems are in this volume uh, are difficult to understand, they will challenge even those who are familiar with uh, the Persian poetic traditions with the cultural milieu in which she is writing and with the spiritual, theological, and ontological uh, theories she discusses and explains. For this reason, we have provided a substantial general introduction, uh, introductions to some of the more difficult poems, uh, extensive footnotes, uh, and so on. Uh, as well as a glossary at the end that uh, 
defines particularly uh, important terms that recur. Uh, it was uh, took us uh, several years to do this work and was in some ways harder than in any of the previous volumes, though we learned from the previous volumes uh, a much that assisted us in creating this, uh, probably our last volume, because each manuscript of, in each of the four volumes was discovered differently in, in a different place and so on, and very fortuitously. So I hope uh, that you will uh, uh, purchase the book and study it and get to know uh, uh, more about the, the depth of this individual, how uh, really amazing her knowledge would be compared to even current uh, day scholars in the Baha'i teachings. One of the things that, that is well worth noting before I, I finish is simply the, uh, not just the selflessness with which she dedicates herself and her foreknowledge that she's going to be martyred, but, but the fact that she pleads with God to relieve her from the suffering that she's made to endure, both through imprisonment uh, and, of course, ultimately with the, the cruelty of her uh, execution, where a scarf was stuffed down her throat and she was thrown into a, a well. Uh, over and over again at the end of the poems, uh, she pleads for relief, much the same way that uh, Baha'u'llah does in some passages. Well, I could say a great deal more, but the, the poems speak for themselves, and I hope that you will uh, uh, enjoy the book and study the book with others and get to know a little bit more about Tahirah than the uh, history of her life.